All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get started. Welcome. Uh, my name is Miles Vega, uh, Academic Senate President at Portable College. A lot of you students probably know my name by now because I've hounded you with emails and phone calls and text and all kinds of other things. And my apologies for that, but we really wanted to make sure that you were able to attend our event. So, so welcome. Welcome to our students, to our staff, faculty, administration, to our guests, family members. Well, welcome to you all. I would like to introduce uh, our co-host for the evening, Dr. Thad Russell. Hello all, so good to have you here. Uh, welcome to Porterville College. I'm the Vice President of Instruction here at PC. Um, welcome to the scholars, to the family, to the friends. We're glad to have you. Uh, I just wanna say, you know, in, pre, um, in prelude to the, to the ceremony, congratulations. Um, no matter what the world threw at you this year, you not only persevered, but you excelled. And, and that's what this is all about. So um, thank you so much. Great to have you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Dr. Russell. Guys, yeah, we, we're here to honor you. We are here to honor our, our students and as faculty members, this is just a, one of the things that we look forward to uh, dur during, during the semester. So we, we are happy, happy to honor you all here. Some of you will receive medals of distinction that are presented by faculty with whom you've taken classes. And some of you or one of you will receive the scholar of the year award. So without further ado, we are going to start and we are going to start with our natural science division. So uh, uh, Buzz, if you would like to uh, chime, in, chime in, we are ready for you. Good evening. Uh, I'm Buzz Pearsall, professor of chemistry and I'm presenting a Medal of Distinction in Biological and Physical Science to Guadalupe Hernandez. I'm not sure if Guadalupe is here, but I first got to know her in fall 2019 when she was a regular at the PC Mecha Club meetings. By fall 2020, Guadalupe was taking general chemistry and majors biology, displaying excellent performance in both classes and despite her being quiet, she has displayed responsibility in all of her coursework, as well as serving as a tutor in college science classes and serving as a secretary of the PC Mecha Club. Now here's a photograph of Guadalupe performing an experiment in the chemistry lab, wearing what I like to call the Darth Vader safety goggles. Guadalupe will be transferring to Sacramento State this fall, where she will be a biology major and plans to become a biology teacher. Congratulations, Guadalupe. Shauna, you're up next. Good evening, I'm Shauna Callison and I am a professor in the Natural Science Division. I'm going to be awarding the Medal of Distinction in Biological and Physical Science. The recipient of this medal was a past student of mine through her academic journey and has taken classes from basically every professor in her department. And as a department, we are very pleased with her academic achievements. She is consistently the top student in all of her classes. Besides her academics, we are also very impressed with how she contributes in the classroom. She's always smiling. She's always happy, even through COVID times. She is inquisitive and contributes to a positive learning environment. She is compassionate about her subject matter, but she's compassionate about her fellow students and helps those around her all the time and consistently. And therefore it is with great pleasure that I award the Medal of Distinction to Alhana Habercorn. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> I, there's not much to say besides thank you. And it's been an honor to be in all of these science classes are what I really enjoy. And I hope that shows. <laughs> thank you and congratulations. Uh, next up, we have Kendra Haney. Good evening. I am Kendra Haney, also a professor of chemistry. Um, 
What to say, when I asked my colleagues to help me out in this speech, we all came to the conclusion that the student is just the best. His other science professors, um, not just me, can attest to his hard work and dedication and that he is a model student. He helps both his classmates and professors and starts thoughtful discussions. He is truly interested in learning and applying his knowledge. He doesn't let any obstacles stand in his way and he's very driven. He's notable for always having his Zoom camera on, a relief to online teachers desperate to see a human face. He truly cares for others and offers his little free time to helping out Phi Theta Kappa without hesitation. Last spring semester, this student maintained the highest grade in my class while suddenly finding himself dealing with all of the uncertainty of being on the front lines full time, in addition to having a family to keep safe. I think I told him, but I might have kept it to myself, that I considered him my personal cheerleader as I navigated turning an in-person lab class into something online. I don't know that I could have done it without his kind words and encouragement. So thank you, Robert. I know he will be a success at anything he puts his mind to and cannot be prouder to give this medal of distinction for pre-allied health to Robert Rose. Thank you very much. You know, I, I want to thank all of the teachers at PC, especially the, the science teachers, Ms. Amy, Ms. Allison. Um, honestly, I love science, but you guys, the teachers here at PC are, are they're great. They make everything so much better. They can actually, you know, you can tell they care so much about their students, and that makes it the learning environment so much more enjoyable. Uh, I know a lot of other students feel the same way. It was just a wonderful experience. I had a great time. Um, PC is very really lucky to have the teachers like you guys that care so much about the students, and it makes it feel like a, like a family. And I spent a lot of time talking to Miss Amy, Miss Callison, and a lot of other people early in the morning, late at night, via text, via Zoom. Um, it was just great to have everybody there. You can make it so much stronger, it's so much easier to learn this stuff, especially in the hard times. And I just I appreciate the honor of this teacher medal. And I appreciate all the things you guys have done for me throughout the years. Thank you very much. Congratulations. And next up, we have the Career Technical and Education, excuse me, Career Technical Education Division. Uh, Jim Carson, you're up. Give me just a second, please. All right. Hello, my name is James Carson. I'm a professor of information systems in the CTE uh, division chair. The CTE division would like to present the Medal of Distinction in Information Systems to Sean Queenan. Sean has been a standout student in the information systems program for the past two years. Uh, he, he possesses qualities that have propelled him in his academics and will help to make him a great employee in the near future. Sean's background has positively contributed to his breadth of knowledge. He is a returning student and has served his country in the United States Air Force. His hunger for knowledge and skills has set him apart from his fellow students. I always appreciate Sean's work ethic and his application of technical skills to practical business applications. Some of the outcomes we want for our graduates to possess when they leave us are the ability to communicate effectively, uh, the ability to think independently, creatively, and critically, the ability to utilize research skills, and to be socially and cultural, culturally responsible, and finally, to demonstrate self-management and ethical awareness. I believe that Sean has excelled in each of these areas, and I want to congratulate him for earning this Medal of Distinction in Information Systems. Congratulations and good luck in your future, Sean. Thank you very much. It's uh, thank you, thank you, Professor Carson. I appreciate that. Um, you've been fun to uh, be around these last couple of years, and uh, clearly, I'm excited. I, I, I'm brought all my friends and family around here to uh, watch this, which I don't see anybody else did. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is, right? But uh, it has been a long road. It's been uh, it's been a good one though, and this piece is done, and I'm excited uh, excited to move on to the next uh, next little part. So, thank you guys so much.
Jeff Jacobs, you're next. Next. You have to speak for the whole ceremony. Like, no, just turn Hello, my name is Jeff Jacobs, and I teach administration of justice courses here at Porterville College. Um, thank you for allowing me to share the achievements of these next two students. I selected Brianna Badola Tapia for a medal of distinction for her hard work, consistent submission of exemplary assignments and above and beyond participation. This resulted in a nearly perfect score this semester. Not only did she exercise a strong work ethic, she demonstrated a mastery of justice related course concepts at a very dynamic and difficult time in our country. And she should absolutely be commended for her above and beyond efforts. Congratulations. I will uh, go on to the second. I also selected Jesus Vasquez for a medal of distinction for his outstanding efforts in multiple concurrent administration of justice courses. He continually displayed high levels of participation above and beyond the course requirements, as well as consistent and positive contribution to the class environment. During a historically trying time in our nation, he routinely demonstrated a high degree of dedication throughout his time in the classroom, which earned him high marks in all administration of justice courses taken. For these reasons and more, he should be commended for his academic achievements. Congratulations. Dr. Queenan, when you're ready. Thanks so much, Thad. Okay, I'm gonna be presenting um, the next four individuals. And one of the things I'd like to point out is that PC has six primary values that we focus on. We focus on innovation, collaboration, respect, equity, accountability, and participation. And the students that were chosen by our division exemplify these values in various ways. The first person I'd like to introduce and present a medal of distinction to is uh, Jose Fernandez and Medal of Distinction in Business Administration is Jose here. There's Jose. Thank you, Jose. I'm so glad to see you. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I just want to say thank you for everything. Um, you as well as a professor, you've been great to me uh, all the whole years I've been, I, I've been at PC. And um, overall, just all the PC staff and counselors and advisors as well, they've just been great to me throughout my whole time there. And I'm just gonna miss all you guys. And I just thank you once again for everything, Professor. Thank you, Queen. You're welcome, Jose. And I would like to say that the, the value that um, Jose, I think exemplified the most was that of collaboration. Um, Jose did an amazing job in creating community. And that's, that's an intangible but it's one of those things that's very important, particularly when you're engaging in entrepreneurship and business. Um, and not only that, but I just want to point out again that Jose got first on the academic team for all California. So he really has represented Portable College well. The next individual is uh, Megan Enriquez, and she earned a medal of distinction in business administration also. Megan is one of those individuals who the values that we that we believe that she exemplified are participation and equity. She would really strove for excellence in everything she did. But not only that, she had a really good way of calling out ideas that other people had. And that's a hard thing to do. And so we just really want to acknowledge her. All of these students have exemplary grades. That's aside from the academic piece of it. That was that was her most important value add. Jose, I guess you're the stand-in for Megan. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> the third individual, we can just leave Jose up there, I guess. <laughs> You'll be good for Sage too. Although I think Sage is here. Sage Martinez has been an excellent, an excellent asset into all of our division classes. We have, we've so enjoyed him. Sage struggled with determining what he wanted to do for his education and thankfully his mom and sisters pushed him into PC which has been hopefully served him well but the the uh, value that Sage has most like, most exemplified is that of innovation Sage really wedded information systems and business together in a very beautiful way and he 
he just did stellar work and he brought he brought innovative ideas he brought innovative thoughts he every class we had he threw out all of these sometimes off the wall ideas that that we as a division really really appreciated so i just want to say thanks to sage and good luck in his pursuit of his management information systems degree which he's going to be doing very very soon and then last i don't know if he's here oh there's sage hi <laughs> i'm so glad to see you go ahead um thank you for this award uh like you said pc was not my first option but it came down to a financial reason why I came here, but it was really, honestly, it was the best decision I've made. Um, now I get to go make some more memories at San Jose State this fall. Yes. Well, we, we've greatly appreciated all of your input and we're thankful for you, Sage. And then lastly, again, I don't know if Matthew's here, but Matthew Rojas, the values that we believe that he um, exemplified were respect and collaboration. Matthew brought a kindness to his classes that is a little bit difficult to articulate, but he was very kind in reaching out to students who were more apprehensive or even just straight scared. He did an excellent job of bringing them into the fold and creating an engagement for them that they probably wouldn't have been able to orchestrate on their own. So we're very thankful for Matthew and we're excited to see what he does next. Okay, thank you, CTE division. Up next, we have the mathematics division and we'll start with Miguel. Hello everyone. Um, I'm gonna give out two awards right now. Um, I'm a professor here of mathematics and it's my great honor to present these medals of distinction in mathematics to two exceptional students, John Hansen and Mauricio Mendoza. Uh, John and Mauricio were identified by the department as a whole because of their exemplary grades and their prowess in math and the sciences. Uh, because I've had the privilege of teaching the upper level math courses for the last five plus years, I was asked to confirm these choices, which I gladly did for several reasons. Both John and Mauricio demonstrated their commitment and seriousness towards the difficult goal of attaining a STEM degree. Uh, they did this by showing up to class every day prepared, uh, asking well-informed and pertinent questions and taking the proactive roles, John especially, of starting a study group or study groups to tackle the challenge challenging problems presented in my courses. Let me just show you guys one if I can. Um, let's see if I can show one. Just to show you how difficult this stuff and fun it can be. So this is the last problem on their final exam where they're asked to find a power series solution to that differential equation. Um, I believe both of them are gonna be, in, we'll go into the STEM fields out, obviously. Oh, that's right, they are deciding not to do engineering but the pretty uh, goodwill hunting stuff, as you can see. And so um, hopefully you guys got the answer of cosine X at the end, or just that power series that's at the bottom there. But anyway, let's get back. Uh, stop the share and put my le lecture back up. Okay, I would now like to say a little thing about each. Um, first with John. Uh, it's my understanding that although John loves the STEM field, he will be pursuing a degree in business management, which he hopes to get from the master's university in Santa Clarita. Uh, he plans to use his degree to take leadership roles for teams working in the STEM fields uh, to improve the lives of people in third world countries. A love that grew from his childhood experiences. Uh, John has also heard the call and plans to lead the, lead the life of a good shepherd. I'm very impressed with, the, with immaturity, John, and we all wish him good luck and Godspeed. Is John here? We can have him have say something right now. Maybe not. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's see. Uh, Mauricio loves to study the physical universe, which is why he became so interested in STEM. He would like to teach in a field related to uh, physics and math. Uh, Mauricio, may I suggest astrophysics? You may become the next Carl Sagan, and but I'll call you Carl Sagan. 
uh, Mauricio would like to become the type of teacher to make students more curious about the way our universe behaves. Like myself, after getting his degree, he plans to come back home to teach. We all know he will succeed. Buena suerte y vaya con Dios. So congratulations to our 2021 Medals of Distinction and Mathematics recipients, John Hansen and Mauricio Mendoza. Great job, young men, and we're all very proud of you. Thank you so much, Professor Ellis. Um, really, just I, I'd like to thank um, the entire faculty um, division, just because um, without them, I wouldn't be able to achieve much. I wouldn't have gone far by myself. Okay. Well, you're very, very welcome. How about the, is John still here? There we go. Sorry, it's technical difficulties. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you so much, Mr. Ruelas, and thank you so much for all the professors who I've worked with this semester. Uh, it's just been my great honor and pleasure to get to work with you guys, and thank you so much for your support, and uh, I've, it's been a you know, long trip, and I can't wait to see where we go next. Thank you so much. Thank you for your leadership in my class. I really appreciate it. Thank you, McGill. I feel silly now. I got cosine Y for that problem. I don't know what I was thinking. Holy cow. Well, maybe, that's a good one. <laughs> maybe next time. All right, next up we have student services. Uh, these will be our counselors presenting some medals of distinction and we have John up first. You're muted, John. Nobody else was going to help you out. Sorry, sorry. I didn't see that. Obviously, it's on the screen there. Um, sorry, uh, John Gillarducci, uh, counselor here at PC. Um, uh, honored to acknowledge Quaid Everett for his time at PC. Uh, Quaid is a part of our dual enrollment program. Um, he'll be graduating with two degrees. He'll have his history AAT and uh, also his social science AA degree. Um, his hard work is reflected within his GPA and um, this the rigor of courses he's taken here at PC. Um, going forward, uh, Quaid is, uh, he'll be attending Cal Poly Pomona in the fall with uh, an eye on video game design and development um, and possibly going through DigiPen in, in the state of Washington um, or the University of Utah. Um, again, it's just been such a great honor um, working with Quaid and um, really achieving his associate degrees um, you know, at the same time as his high school diploma. I think Quaid is, is in here if he... Um, I'd like to say thank you for this honor and then thank you for all the professors and my family who's helped me do it help me get along the way. And then like I'll also thank John for helping me navigate through dual enrollment. Congratulations. Thank you. Hello, good evening, everybody. My name is Anna Savayos. And, and first of all, I just want to say um, congratulations to everybody, all, all the deserving students that are being honored today. And um, so I'm a counselor for teacher education, and I'm presenting the Medal of Distinction, Distinction for Student Services to Susan DeGroote. I had the pleasure of meeting Susan about two years ago as I assisted her in completing her educational plan. It was then that it was evident that Susan was a determined individual with a great thrive and hunger to succeed in her education and be a role model to her family. Susan is a great example that at any stage in life, you can continue with your education. Susan is receiving several degrees as she double majored in agribusiness, elementary teacher education, and as well as receiving a communication certificate. Susan is a returning student who had been out of school for several years. In recent years, she decided to come back to school and start her path towards a career in education. She is a hardworking student who is motivated, perseverant, and values her education. She has taken advantage of many resources offered through Portable College and has been consistent meeting with counselors and advisors throughout her journey at PC. She is a great example of what it takes to succeed and accomplish her educational goals at any stage. And so for that, we want to congratulate Susan for the Medal of Distinction for Student Services, and we want to wish her the very best and continuous success. And I think I saw Susan on the call. You did. Thank you so much. It's been such a privilege for me. Um, yeah, it's been a while. Thanks for giving me that break. It's been 35 years. You're nice. <laughs> and who says you can't teach an old girl new tricks? I learned how to Zoom. Thank you guys. Every single 
professor I had was just amazing. My experience has been amazing. And I thank you all very, very much. Hello, good evening, everyone. My name is Roberto Maqueda. I'm a counselor here at Portugal College. And it's an honor to present this Medal of Distinction to, in Student Services to Yaritzi Mendez. Um, Yaritzi is a first generation college student from the Central Valley. She's been part of the EOPS program here at Portugal College and is currently working. I mean, she's been working um, at PC as a, as a writing mentor and she enjoys helping other students. She's graduating this semester with a 4.0 GPA and will be obtaining her elementary teacher education degree. Now she applied to four different universities. She got she got accepted to all of them, but she accepted. Uh, she decided that she's going to attend CSU Bakersfield for the fall 20, 2021 semester, and she plans on plans on obtaining a master, master's degree and going into the field of public service, where she wants to find ways to improve in the education to improve the education system and make a difference in the community. Yeah, it's the importance of education, and she hopes to make her parents proud, who have sacrificed a lot to come to this country in search of better opportunities. So Yaritzi, congratulations. I'm very proud of you and I wish you the best. Okay, uh, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Roberto. I, I really appreciate the recognition and for all the advice uh, that you've given me, I really uh, plan to use that as I move on. So thank you so much. Okay, welcome. Good evening, everyone. My name is Patty Serrato. I'm a counselor, student services division chair. And it is my pleasure to present this medal of distinction to this student uh, on behalf of student services, which is Marisol Lopez. Marisol, she is a first generation mm -hmm. college student dedicated to her education, hardworking, intelligent, and passionate about learning. Marisol did not hesitate to schedule an appointment with me every time she had a question. She just came in and saw me. It was always wonderful to see her. Um, she is focused on her goals and she's just an exceptional student. Her strong GPA is a testament of her hard work. She is getting a double major in biological physical science and she hopes to transfer to Fresno State and major in biology. It was a pleasure to work with you, Marisol. Congratulations and I wish you the very best. Hi, Ms. Serrato. Thank you Hello. so much. I, I really appreciate all your help that you've given me throughout um, this chapter in my life. Uh, you've helped me, uh, you know, arrange my classes with personal advice, advice that I will carry on um, onto my university. And, and I just really appreciate everything from the staff and um, all your help. I cannot be more honored to accept this award. So thank you so much. You're very welcome. Congratulations. You have made a, a big impact in my life. I want to let you know. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Best to you. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Next up, we have the Health Careers Division. It looks like we have two or three faculty that should be taking over. Yes. Good evening. My name is Lupi Guillen, and I'm one of the faculty here, as well as the division chair um, for health careers. And I'm just trying to get this going so I can have a picture of who we're talking to um, about, but obviously I'm having a hard time. It's coming up, there we go. I am very pleased to announce, me and Mrs. Habercorn, to announce that our recipient for Health Careers Medal of Distinction goes to Jenna Muirhead. And one of the things that we want to discuss is many students are taking a lot of the courses here at Portable College, and they have to, once they build that knowledge base, they bring it into the nursing program, which we average about 100 to 150 applicants. So when Ms. Jenna came into our program, we understand that she has been through a lot with um, preparing. 
But when you see her preparing and taking care of the courses here in the nursing program, we felt that we needed to um, acknowledge her. One of the things that I had the pleasure of knowing with Miss Jenna is that she was very active in her participation, always wanting to know. But while she was active, she was very caring, caring to the faculty, being very respectful, caring to the other students. You know, if she learned something a little bit easier, she was always there to help all the other students. And her communication skills were just so perfect in regards to learning this new field. Once she got into second semester, I was able to work with her at the hospital setting in the clinical setting. She demonstrated caring. She had empathy for her clients, but at the same time, her knowledge base continued. She wanted to know what was going on, what was the disease process, what are the factors that she needed to know to care, to give the best care possible. And it didn't just stop there. She would also go and talk with her other fellow um, co-workers, whether it be the nursing, whether it be her other students, as well as faculty. We noticed early on that she was problem solving. She was breaking down the details. You know, if I could, you know, bring the patients to line up to give how wonderful care she give, I, I would love to have done that. But this is something that when you're a nurse, you do it from your core. You do it because you know it's the best thing to do without any acknowledgement. Um, we know that people are at their, at their weakest at that time. So we do everything we can. And we saw that in Jenna. I have Manuela Habacorn, another faculty member that I would like to also add. Hello, I'm, uh, I'm Manuela Habacorn and uh, I met Jenna throughout the nursing program. And when she came to me in the third semester, um, like Ms. Gian already said, she had all of these great qualities. But the third semester, um, we went to the hospital and the third semester started in August, 2020. And as you all know, for healthcare workers, these were uncertain, extraordinary, trying circumstances. Um, and for students, that was even more so. And under these very difficult new circumstances that we had to integrate our practice at the hospital, at the bedside, still taking care of people who needed us more than ever, who were at that time not able to have their family with them because hospitals were <laughs> close to visit us. And that's where Jenna really excelled to be highly engaged in the bedside care, to seek every opportunity to talk with her instructors and to learn about her thought process and breaking down the content and understanding the content and relaying it to that person at the bedside. And then she also uh, excelled in her leadership skills, pulling other students and her peers in and discussing content, helping them with content, helping them with their bedside care. Uh, she was highly engaged there, sharing her thinking and building up the team. Uh, she became more comfortable being an active collaborator of the healthcare team with physicians, nurses, physical therapists, respiratory therapists. And in theory, she was always an active participant and even in theory, she was still sharing, exploring, very professional on Zoom, always had her camera on, always was engaged, but always also very friendly and warm and kind. And that is hard to do over Zoom sometimes. Um, she was always seeking that understanding. And then fourth semester, we had kind of gotten used to some of the new practice rules and she excelled in developing her leadership skills and became more independent, what we are looking for, because that's when she really developed and matured into that novice nurse we're looking for for graduation. And we as a program in health careers couldn't be prouder to have a student like Jenna present us to the nursing profession. So once again, we would like to congratulate Jenna Muirhead as Health Careers 2021 Medal of Distinction. Yay. <laughs> Jenna, can you unmute? 
Jenna, unmute. Can you hear me now? Yes. yes Jenna. Okay, I think it's because it was on a speaker, but anyways, thank you very much for that nomination. You have no idea how much I respect all of my professors and the knowledge that I've gotten from all of you. I will carry with me through my career and I'm looking forward to this next step in my journey as I start working as a nurse and being able to share some of those accomplishments with you guys in the future. Thank you, Manuel and Lupe. And next up, we have the Social Science Division, and we will start with Dr. Simpkins. Well, I am here to recognize the Medal of Distinction, uh, Megan Stewart. And I saw Megan was in the list of participants. Um, I've known Megan for a couple of years. Uh, and uh, when I saw the list of graduates and uh, potential students immediately zeroed in on her name as uh, someone who had uh, done excellent in my own classes and had gone on to complete an anthropology degree as well as a biological and physical science degree, but also as somebody who had been very active um, in the campus community and, uh, and particularly in the anthropology club. And so to see how to have students who um, do more than just um, you know, excel in coursework, but want to learn more, to see more, to do more, to experience more. These are things that are very um, uh, exciting for instructors. And so uh, I was uh, very happy to have the opportunity to recognize Megan for um, what she had done during her time here at PC. So uh, Megan, um, congratulations on your, your Medal of Distinction in Anthropology. Thank you so much. It means a lot. Um, definitely have found a place in anthropology whenever I was at PC, and it was uh, amazing having you as a professor and being in the club as well. So thank you again. Good evening. I'm Dr. Pingilly. And tonight, um, well, I am the professor for teacher education. And tonight I'm going to be giving three medals of distinction to three very deserving students. All three students have modeled the four C's of education, which is communication, collaboration, critical thinking, and creativity. All three of these young women will be great teachers in the future. They are very well prepared for the 21st century They've been supportive to their classmates. They know how to collaborate and they are very intelligent and creative. And these three scholarly students are Caitlin Miller, Hannah Walker, and Marianne Benaud. Thank you, Dr. Pingilly. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Dr. Pingilly. It was really fun having you as like a great professor. You've helped me a lot <laughs> and everyone did as well. So thank you so much. You're very welcome. I'm excited for your next journeys. Thank you, Dr. Pingeli. Um, I just wanted to say that I've always looked up to you. I remember when you would observe my classes in kindergarten and then it was really cool that you were my professor for my last semester at Portville College. So thank you. You're welcome, Caitlin. Again, I'm excited to see these amazing future teachers. Hello, I'm Dr. Rebecca Baird and I'm presenting the Medal of Distinction in History on behalf of myself and Professor Jay Hargis to Ulysses Alcantar Torres. Ulysses has been an overall amazing student in our history courses, of which he has taken many. His hard work and motivation, his strong ability to analyze primary source material, 
and his exceptional research and writing skills have consistently put him at the top of his history courses. Professor Hargis and I commend Ulysses on his consistently excellent work, and we wish him well as he continues his educational pursuits. Congratulations, Ulysses, on the Medal of Distinction in History, and well done. We're proud of you. Thank you so much. I do plan on becoming a history professor someday, so hopefully I'm able to come back to PC. But anyways, thank you so much. Once again, I really do appreciate it. Hello, my name is Jeff Keel, and I teach political science at Porterville College, and I'm here to award the Medal of Distinction in Political Science to Blake Wallace. Blake came to me in the first week that I knew him. This was his very first semester at PC, and asked me for recommendations for what kind of key works he should be reading as a beginning political science um, student. And that's the kind of student Blake is. He's super serious, always does a great job, always comes prepared, asks great questions, contributes to the class, and was just the kind of student that motivates us as instructors to do our very best. I always kind of felt like if I wasn't on my game, Blake would see right through me. Um, so I, congratulations to Blake. Now, Blake isn't able to be here this evening. I, I texted him when I didn't see him um, in, in the, uh, in the, on, in on the, sh on the, the Zoom call, but um, congratulations to Blake Wallace. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Karen Bishop, and I'm a professor of sociology here at Porterville College. And it is my great honor to award uh, this year's Medal of Distinction in Sociology to Samantha Diaz. Um, Samantha has uh, taken uh, in nearly all of our sociology classes, if not all of them, and uh, has done consistent work uh, throughout the courses uh, demonstrating excellent research skills and uh, hands-on leveraging of uh, research methods and techniques. And um, among some of her um, uh, topics that she studied included um, aging and parenting and even the nature of volunteerism itself. So Samantha represents an excellent example of leveraging academic training um, in service of community well-being. And we feel like this absolutely demonstrates exactly um, what we like to see out of our sociology students. So uh, congratulations, Samantha. We're very, very proud of you. Thank you so much. Oh my God. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I enjoyed my time here at Portable College and I enjoyed all the classes I took with you as well. I'm so glad. Thank We're you. so proud of you. Congratulations again. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, language arts division is up next. Melissa, I believe that's you. That's me. My name is Melissa Black. I'm a professor of English here at PC. I'm delighted on behalf of the language arts department to present our Medal of Distinction to Ruben Romero. Ruben, I know you're here. I first met Ruben in English 101A composition class. He is an exceptional student. He has been on the president's list every semester. He's a member of Phi Theta Kappa. Since spring 2020, he's served as a language arts writing mentor, both face-to-face -face and through the virtual transition. He also served as a lead for the writing mentors. He worked additional hours. He helped to train the team. And Ruben is a member of the PC Tech Navigator program. Ruben is majoring in elementary teacher education. He plans to transfer to Fresno Pacific University and earn a BA in liberal arts for an elementary school teacher career. He's already a classified substitute in the Burton School District. And finally, Ruben will continue to assist Porterville College from his transfer institution by serving as our very first professional expert in literacy for the Learning Center. It's a new program for exceptional graduates to provide educational mentorship and inspiration 
to current PC students. So Ruben, thank you and congratulations. We couldn't be more proud. Thank you so much, Professor Black. It's an honor to receive this award, especially from you because you're a very motivation for me because you pushed me to um, apply for the student worker position. And it was just an uh, amazing experience to be a part of that. And I just wanna thank the staff and also the counselors, especially during the pandemic to help us students have a, a wonderful time at Portable College. Thank you. Okay, uh, Fine and Applied Arts Division is up next. Jonathan. Hello, my name is Jonathan Hernandez and I teach communication here at Porterville College. And I just wanna say that I am, I am pleased, I am honored, I am humbled to nominate Miss Olivia De La Cruz for the Medal of Distinction for the Fine Arts Department Division and specifically taking communication studies courses. Olivia, you've been uh, someone who's been reliable, someone that's been empathetic, someone who's been a quiet leader throughout um, our time in our classes. And I just wanna say thank you so much and you rightfully earned this award. And I wish you well at Fresno State, go dogs, but forever you'll be a pirate. So um, congratulations on this achievement, you've earned it, and I wish you well in the future. Thank you, I just wanna say thank you. Um, my professors have made the past two years so enjoyable for me. Um, and I'm very honored to be considered for this. So thank you very much. Hello everyone, my name is Dieron Lyons and I'm a professor of art at Porterville College. I am pleased to present the Medal of Distinction to Angel Garcia, who is the recipient this year. Angel is one of the most thoughtful and talented artists I've had the pleasure of working with in our art program. He has a great work ethic and he translates complex ideas into works of art that are deeply contemplative and at other times really humorous. I first saw his diverse range of skills in our Art Studio Fundamentals class, where Angel was interested in working in public spaces. He then went on to create outstanding projects in both my photography and design courses. Angel is also a very gifted storyteller, cinematographer, and special effects designer, which he incorporates to enhance the narratives he wants to tell. Angel is the kind of student that is truly ideal in an art program because he leads by example in the way that he approaches his art projects with great rigor, while also being very helpful to his peers in studio art and design critiques. So on behalf of the art program at Porterville College, I want to extend our heartfelt congratulations to Angel for winning this award. It is fitting to celebrate all your hard work over the past years in our program, and we wish you continued success as you strive to push yourself in your art and towards achieving your goals. All the best. Um, thank you, Professor Lyons, for your, for your kind words. Uh, thank you for your knowledge and encouragement throughout my time at Portable College. I am honored to accept this award. Uh, I hope to continue to work hard and find new ways to be creative. Uh, thank you. Oh, that was impressive. Thank you. Well, now we're at the time in the program where we get to announce our Scholar of the Year. The Scholar of the Year will receive a scholarship and they will receive a plaque. And to introduce the Scholar of the Year, please uh, welcome Shauna Callison. Good evening. I'm awarding um, Co-Scholar of the Year to a student who is very dear to my heart this recipient not only was one of my top students, she has been my past leader for the last three semesters. She has been an incredible gift through COVID. Whew. Not only to the students, but to me. She's graduating with a 4.0 in biological and physical science. <laughs> yeah, dear to my heart, so we're gonna do this. <laughs> she is a star student and a great fellow classmate. She's always caring and helping to all of those around her. She has amazing leadership skills and she's the president of Phi Theta Kappa. 
She is studying to be an emergency room physician, and I believe she will be fantastic. She's a amazing outside, inside, in any way you can look at her. And it's with great pleasure that I award Coast Scholar of the Year to Hannah Habakorn. I'm sorry. I don't know if I can iterate how much it means to me, especially coming from you, because you've been such an incredible mentor to me. And I really appreciate every professor I've had here at PC. I've had an incredible experience, and it's been like one of the best decisions I've ever made to start here. And I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Well, you earned it. You're amazing. <laughs> Congratulations, Hannah. Once again, I'm Dr. Rebecca Baird, history professor, and I I'm so pleased to present our co-scholar of the year, Yatsiri Mendez. Yatsiri was nominated by myself with support from Professor Dustin Akers in math, Professor Ethan Hartzell in communication, and Professor Catherine Hodges in English, all of whom had glowing things to say about her. And we can see that she is a well-rounded student completing excellent work in a variety of disciplines, which will be incredibly useful in her future career in education. She has proven herself to be an outstanding writer, so much so that she was recommended as a writing mentor for other students on campus. And in the middle of the pandemic, Yatsiri displayed remarkable resilience in what was a difficult year for many of us. She was able to adapt her learning styles to the online format and despite juggling a number of other obligations, still finished my course at the top of not just her class, but all five of my classes that semester. A remarkable feat in a normal year, but even more so considering the unique stresses of this past year. She is a student who stands out. She truly applies herself to her learning, demonstrating that she is not just seeking a good grade, which of course she is, but also seeking knowledge. She has a true love of learning. She asks insightful and thoughtful questions and really engages with the concepts of a course. She seeks ways to apply uh, the knowledge and her understanding of the broader world in which we live. And she's constantly looking towards self-improvement and insight. She is not afraid to ask for help or to ask questions. She is a brave student, a courageous student, and I really admire that quality about her. She is the type of student who gives meaning to my work, and I am just so inspired by her. The struggles and challenges she has overcome, her drive, her intelligence, her hard work, her resiliency. Yet Ziri is one of the most dedicated scholars I have ever had the privilege of teaching, and I am so proud of her many accomplishments. Her future students will benefit from her love of learning, her enthusiasm, her compassion and empathy, and her dedication to understanding the world around us. Congratulations, Yatsiri. Wow, thank you. Um, it really means a lot. Um, this recognition is a testament that there are so many amazing professors at PC. So thank you so much, Inspired. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to you all. I think that you can tell the, the students, I think you can tell that we miss you. We miss being in the classroom with you. Uh, we, we miss seeing you. And, and again, it's our, it's our privilege, our honor to, to award you, uh, as, as reward you as we have tonight. Uh, <clears throat> a little bit of housekeeping. Um, obviously, we didn't hand you the, uh, the medals tonight. We didn't figure out how to get that through the internet. So those of you who received a Medal of Distinction, you can pick that up with your degree, well, with your diploma when you, when you receive that. Uh, those of you who received Scholar of the Year awards, you can contact me and we will be in touch about how you can um, receive those, the, the, the check and, and the plaque. Um, I, I wanna thank Roger Perez for putting this event together. Without him, this would not happen. And so his spotlighting uh, diff different folks. Roger, thank you so much for all you do. Uh, you, make, you make us all better. Uh, on behalf of the faculty at Portugal College, I just want to say enjoy the ceremony tomorrow. You, you did it. You, you graduated. You're there. 
Uh, for some of you, it's been extremely difficult. I, I can't imagine for anybody, it hasn't been difficult, honestly, with what, what, what you've all been through. Just know that we are proud of you. Uh, yeah, we, we will continue to be here for you. And you know what? Come back and check in with us every once in a while. Let us know how you're doing. Let us know that you got your PhD. Let us know where you're at and just check in. Again, thank you all so much for being a part of this. And we absolutely wish you the best. Good night, everybody.